Well, we got a nice overcast day today. Probably here in the background, the chatter of a XP Deus. Got it out on its virgin hunt. And I'm digging some deep targets today. I'm working in uh, basic one program and uh, the deep six is what I'm in right now. Um, just pulled this uh, shotgun shell head stamp out about eight or nine inches. So I'm digging targets back here that I'm sure I've walked over before. All right, stay tuned, let's see what happens. I just had a nice 76, 74 signal on the dais. Just pulled this out from about three inches, little harmonica reed, part of one. Might be what we're looking for. We'll keep moving. I'm not too far from the harmonica reed. Got another strong 75. Thought it was going to be another reed. Look at this. It's something ornate. Not really sure how old that is, gang. We might be onto an old home site here. Well, another one. Looks old, too. It's about four inches down right there. I'm running a dais hot right now. And I'm right underneath a power line. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I tell you what, it's running pretty stable. Even in hot, it's pretty doggone stable machine. All right, we'll take this, we'll move on to the next. Well, I'm back here in the thick stuff, and there's a lot of iron, just signals everywhere in the ground. So I started looking around a little bit, and I can see there's an old brick right there. There's a top to an old screw top uh, mug right there. And I started walking over this way, and look at this. Look at that. It's either a privy or a well. Wow, ooh, there's bottles. Look at this. I see some old glass. Oh, that goes down there a long ways. Look at that, there's a, there's a Coke glass right there. Top's broken off. I don't think there's anything too terribly old here. Looks like mid 1900s at the earliest. There's some old cans over there. Old dump site here, but look at that. Let's go up and see what's down there, if that's, if that's well or if it's privy, I see some old bricks. There's some old bricks right down there. Might have been a well. This might have been a well right here. Wow, awesome. Well, let's go over and check out these bottles over here. Wow. I just had to set the, the dais down for a little bit here and grab the camera and film some of this. I don't think these bottles are too old. Let's take a look here. Sure, if we're gonna be able to date that one. Yeah, it's got the Macon, Georgia mark on the bottom. Ugh, oh, too bad that thing's broken. Well, let's see if maybe we can find a clean one in here. Yeah, there's a lot of little bottles, old shoes, old cans, lots of stuff. Yeah, that's got to be a well. That's really deep. All right. Poke around here a little bit, see what we can find. Stay tuned. Okay, this one rang up a real strong 89, about five inches down here. Got down to it, and I pulled a clod out. Look at this. Kind of looks like a ring stuck in there. Let's see if we can... Oh, boy, that's really going to be hard. Let me see if I can bust that out of there. Nope. There it comes. Definitely looks like she might be gold plated. Otherwise that dirt would be coming right off. Oop, there we go. Got some kind of design or something there. Ring up a solid 89, so it's definitely not gold. It's gold plated. That's about it. Doesn't look to be too terribly old though. All 
out of this hole down here about four inches just pulled this little pistol ball out that's got some age to it for sure I don't know it's about 32 caliber I would guess just a guess Well, lots of foliage up this morning, but uh, the heat's starting to come on now. The sun is up pretty good in the sky. Got a solid 63 down here, right on the edge of the wood line. Pretty deep, I'd say about five or six inches down. Got a green disc right here. Yep, that's a nice flat button. There's the shank on the back. Yep, it's a beauty. All right. All right, time for a quick wrap up after today's hunt, my maiden voyage with the XP Deus. I was uh, scouting an old home site. It's a new area that I wanted to get out to and hunt. Um, I was pretty impressed with that dais. Let me get a few more hours under it and I'll have a complete video um, just explaining my thoughts on that XP dais. But I need some more hours on the machine before I can speak intelligently about it. Anyway, um, here's a few finds from today's hunt. This piece turned out to be, uh, well, I don't know exactly what it is. It looks like some kind of a nameplate or name badge. It definitely was fastened to something. I straightened it out a little bit and cleaned it up. It's very decorative. Very ornate. I was thinking it might have something to do with the railroad out there. It might have been an old conductor badge or something like that. I have been finding a lot of bag tags, railroad uh, memorabilia from that specific area in other videos. If you want to look back in some other videos, I've found a lot of railroad memorabilia at this location. So I'm kind of leaning toward that, but who knows? It might have gone on to furniture something like that. Ended up finding two of those little lead balls out there. They're about 32 caliber. I believe they're pistol balls. And then the ring did prove to be gold plated. There is a little design on it. Let's see if I can get you a close up here. Just a bit of a flower or floral pattern to it. And then on the inside, let's see if I can get this straight here for you. Yeah, right back in here, it's going to say 18K and there's a little symbol there for electroplate or gold plated. Hopefully you can see that. The inside looked pretty clean, but as you can tell, it's definitely plated. Nice old ring. And then the old find from today is this flat button. I cleaned up the backside a little bit. You can see at the top, you might be able to see this. I believe it says super fine London and then color underneath the shank there. C-O-L-O-U-R with a little design, a little decorative design down there. Pretty neat little button. It's definitely old, early 1800s for sure. So I think the home site was uh, probably turn of the century, but there is some old stuff in the ground there. I'm going to have to get back and take the dais in there and explore a little bit more. So thanks for joining, everyone. Thanks for coming along, and we'll see you next time.